Welcome to Wildcat. This video is part of a series introducing standard features of applications built using Wildcat and this video focuses on using lists. For this session we're going to use a simple contact database. There are several key parts of the list feature that you should gain familiarity with if you want to get the most out of your Wildcat applications. The key areas are the list tools, the filter line, the column headings, the list area, tags and flags, and finally the summary line. Let's start with the column headings. The column headings control sorting and also the width of your columns. You can do simple sorting by just clicking on a column heading. Clicking once to sort the list ascending and then every successive click to toggle the direction of the sort. You can usually sort every column in the list. For even more options, expand the menu to the right of the column heading or alternatively right click on the column heading. The menu allows for sort ascending, sort descending, configuring a more complex sort, clearing any sorting that you've applied to the list, auto fitting all columns or auto fitting just the column that's selected. You can also control visibility of columns and grouping within the list. To return the list to the default configuration at any time, Simply re-click on the menu item that led you there. Now let's configure a more complex sort. Right click on the column heading and choose configure sort. The configure sort box allows you to add any number of levels of sorting to your sort configuration. By default it will add the column that you clicked on ascending. From there you can add additional levels of sort and choose the direction. As a demonstration I'm going to sort by first name first and then last name. So I'll move this first name sort configuration to the top and I'll then apply the sort. Now you can see that the list is sorted first by the first names and that's indicated by a 1 and up arrow on first name and then secondly as indicated by the number 2 ascending for the last name. So you can see that for the two people named Adina we have sorted first by first name and then last name. To clear the sort I can re-click and press clear sort or to reset the list at any time to the default configuration, just click on the menu item. Some columns will be hidden by default. To turn them on, click on any column heading, expand the column visibility submenu, and click on the column to toggle its status from visible or invisible. For example, clicking on the mobile column now shows the mobile phone number column. And remember that if you need more room at any time, you can hide the menu panel by clicking on the double line. That concludes the first part of list features. Return next time to explore the other toolbar controls, sorting, tagging, flagging and the summary line.